Today we're reacting to creative people on another level. So make sure you're subscribed. Me versus my 10 year old sister, my turn. Okay, so they're having a battle of who's better with the drawing skills. <laughs> Hi, it's Wednesday Adams. Dance, dance, dance. <gasps> that is good. Look at that. It looks so real, like it's a photo. That is gonna be hard to beat for the sister, especially if she's 10 years old, unless she's like some incredible artist. Okay, now it's the sister's turn. <laughs> Come on, girl, you got this. Got all my fingers and toes crossed for her. Not bad so far. It's looking good. The shading's good. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's good. But when it's side by side next to the sister's one like that, I can't lie, hers just puts it to shame. It's a really good effort, better than what I can do. I'm sure the more she does it, the better she'll get. If I just cover the first half and only look at her half, it's actually really good. You definitely see the potential. Today I tried copy spill art. <gasps> that picture is already so good. <gasps> no, she's ruining it. Why? <laughs> I hope it turns out good. I hope it turns out good too. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. It actually does look good. Okay, I take back my bad shock and replace it with some good shock because that actually looks really good. She is talented. I wonder if the coffee smell would ever wear off of that picture. Mini canvases, painting it black, adding some tape on it. Going over that with blue. Okay. What is it going to be like a alien ship beaming a light down? Oh, it's like clouds. <gasps> It's a street light. Oh, look at the little star details. That's so creative, it looks so good. I was not expecting that at all. It's so cute and tiny. First up, we got some creative videography. Spiraling. Okay, I hope this doesn't make me dizzy. Whose house is this? Oh, that looks so cool. I bet it would look even cooler in reverse. Imagine having to walk up and down those stairs every single day. I mean, you would be really fit, but you'd also be exhausted all the time. That's like a whole workout session. Imagine you dropped your phone. I'd be devastated. <laughs> so we got some black powder or pigment or charcoal or something. <laughs> and he's smearing it all over the paper. Really getting in there with the hands. Okay, doing some fancy squiggles. <laughs> what is this? I'm trying to see the vision. It looks a bit like a face or something. Oh, wow. My mind would never come up with this. I really, really like it. This is very impressive. <laughs> Got some colorful dots on the paper, putting a glass over the top of it. It's Mario. It's Mario, right? <laughs> it must be Mario. This <laughs> is. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought it was gonna ruin it when they like scraped it down, but that actually looks cool. Like he's jumping up. That's a creative way to do it. I like that one. Especially when he used the squeegee. Is it called a squeegee? What is that, a pencil? Oh, join a wine glass. Ha <laughs> ha, I knew it. <laughs> so painting it now. Okay, I see where this is going. Looks good, looks all right. I definitely couldn't do it. <laughs> I don't drink wine, but I always imagine that it would taste really nice because people make it look so delicious. Like it would taste like grapes or raspberries or strawberries or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, look how much more realistic it looks now. <gasps> as soon as they added the white details, it came to life. Like you can just take the glass and drink it. Whoa, that is one big canvas. I hope it's worth the wait. We're spinning around. <gasps> look at him taking little baby steps to turn around like a penguin. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Like how? How do these people do this? Very talented. Oh. There's more. He did like a nighttime one as well. It looks so realistic, like almost as if the picture could just come to life. You can hear the sounds of like the cars passing by. Look at that smile. You can tell he's very proud and so he should be. You can tell he's a true artist because he's got the paint splatters all over his jacket. <laughs> we got some paint. Oh, that looks satisfying. Oh, what was that? Was that sugar or sand or salt mixing in with the paint? Oh, I don't know. I don't like the texture of it. It looks really cool. It's a little flower. That is really creative, but the texture texture just makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't know why. It reminds me of like sand getting in your teeth. Ugh. I remember once I went to the beach and I had a sandwich and it must have accidentally got a bit of sand on it and I bit into it and as I was chewing it, like the grains of sand was oh yeah it was just not cute. Yeah. Wow, I know that guy. It's the one from Pirates of the Caribbean, right? That is so good. Art teacher, your art isn't good enough. Oh, spent weeks on drawing. Classmates, you will never be an artist. Trying to be an artist. These are so good. Society, get a nine to five job. Started an art business. These are incredible. <laughs> Why do people have to be such dream crushers? She definitely showed them. <laughs> I love that she took the negativity and fueled it to push her to keep going and get even better because look at this, it's amazing. Sweet taste of revenge. <laughs> what we got? Canvas, brown paint or ink or watercolor. <laughs> uh, a few lines, shading. 
skin. Is it gonna be a tree? I don't know. Sand? The desert? Oh, hands! Hands! <laughs> How did I not see that? But that is pretty good. If I tried to draw hands like that, it would probably just look like I'm trying to draw a spider. Oh, we got another one from Caleb. Okay, so we got black paper this time and white chalk or powder, whatever it is. More of the smudging and swooping and swirling. I can't tell what this one's gonna be. What was that? Slime? Rubber? <gasps> I see a face forming. Do you guys see that? No, why did it end so soon? I wanted to see more. That looks so good. We've got another huge canvas. What is she gonna create? She has a lot of equipment, so I'm guessing this is gonna be good. So she's doing one of those messy techniques again. Oh, oh, that is so good. Like, what? There's so much going on. I don't even know where to look. Look at all the details and all the colors and all the skill and all the talent. My mind can't take it. It's like fashion illustration. I love it. I want it in my house to just hang on the wall and stare at it and admire it as if it was my own creation. <laughs> okay, so we're doing some circles, some other random shapes. Oh, so this is one of those like arty abstract paintings, I think. Now we're squeezing out some colors, mixing, <laughs> a little smiley face. Is that water? Dipping into the paint. Okay, now painting, filling in the color, adding some shading. What is it supposed to be like bubbles or balls or faces? Are those eyes? I think they're eyes. The end result actually looks really good. Sometimes I see some of these paintings and they're doing like the random shapes and stuff. And I feel like at the end, it's just a bit like, mm, it's all right. But this one was actually really good. I liked it. Oh, I could already tell who this is gonna be. The curly ginger hair, the eyes. Comment who you think it is before the video finishes and let's see if we get it right. It definitely has to be eye spice. It just keeps getting better. These shading and blending skills are on another level and this is with coloured pencils. I can't even blend that well with makeup. <laughs> Look at the details, it looks so realistic. I knew it! Wow, so good. So we've got another messy start to what I can already tell is probably going to be like a creative masterpiece because <laughs> it's like the messier they start the more amazing they are in the end. I knew it. That is so good. Oh, someone teach me how to paint like this. Look at that. The attention to detail as well, wow. It just keeps getting better. <laughs> I would love to hang this on my wall. When I think it's finished, he just does more to make it even better. Incredible. It reminds me of a mermaid, I don't know why. Maybe because it's blue, so it's reminded me of like water or the ocean. I wonder if that's a real person or whether he just like made it. $5 versus $500, okay. So this is cheaper pencils to more expensive pencils. <gasps> it broke, oh no, it's broken. I think that $5 shading is still pretty good though going in the bin because he's not happy with the pencils <laughs> they keep breaking but that looks amazing i love avatar okay now for the 500 dollar side oh the color range they're so creamy and the blending was chef's kiss <laughs> okay yeah it does look like it's blending a lot smoother <laughs> how much you use the pencil, it's like that tiny. Oh wow, okay, I can definitely see a difference. I guess it's worth the money. Like one side, you can kind of see the lines and it's not as smooth and flawless and the other side is just beautiful. Yes, it's Mimlas or Mimlas. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But her creativity is amazing, like some of the best I've seen. She does all these crazy illusion art looks. Like everything is always just so good and on point. She never fails to impress. <gasps> Avatar, I love it. A fellow makeup creator, yay. <laughs> okay, who is this? He's amazing. How have I never come across him before? Why don't you just post some normal makeup Halloween is over? No, <laughs> I hate when people say stuff like that because this is all amazing. It's so creative and it takes a lot of talent and skill. Even I love doing creative looks like these. So for us, it's not only for Halloween, it's all year round. <laughs> I don't even know which look I love the most. They're all amazing. Let's paint a $1,500 disco ball painting. Okay. Okay, I can just tell by the how she's got everything laid out that this is gonna be good. <laughs> she looks like she knows what she's doing. The shade placement. Oh, oh, it's definitely a trust the process type of thing. That looks so realistic. I'm so amazed when I see people with this kind of talent because I just think like if I could paint or draw like that on paper, imagine what I could do on my face. <laughs> she would kill it as a makeup artist. I need these skills. I should start painting as like a side hobby. How to say I love you for creative people. Okay, get some sellotape. Oh, I'm making a little box. That's cute, that's creative. What is that? A heart. You'll have my heart forever. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, for me that looks a bit creepy. I'd be like, oh, <laughs> just get me like a box of chocolates or some new art equipment or something instead. <laughs> the heart just looks too realistic for me. It will creep me out. But it's the thought that counts. Throwing some flowers on a canvas, putting some tissue in water. I'm not sure where this is going. Squeezing it out, putting it in a cup, adding some 
was that paint and glue mixing it all up ah and sticking it to the canvas that's creative i can't lie it looks extremely time consuming i don't think i have the patience for that and even though they're using tweezers to do it i feel like it would get all over my hands and just be a sticky mess we've got a photo of a crying eye she's gonna shoot it onto the paper pew, pew. oh it didn't work and again maybe reload wait a minute the details are crazy it looks like a real eye like it's about to wink at me <laughs> look at that that looks so good this must have took a long time come visit my art gallery oh, that's cute it's a little picture of an art gallery that's creative oh oh we're zooming in wait a minute what how how is this possible so it's a picture of an art gallery and then we zoom in and it's like we're actually in the art gallery looking at the little pictures inside of the art gallery how did they do that this is so crazy but very creative i literally feel like i'm inside this tiny picture that's very impressive <laughs> imagine if you could actually go through the little door at the end that would be cool i'd love to see this mini gallery in color cartoon versus realism oh super mario okay this should be good so cartoon first okay oh wow that's a lot of colors oh this is so satisfying <laughs> shading in i just know this is gonna be good already i don't even need to guess look at that shading i love it i did a super mario makeup video so if you guys haven't seen it yet i'll link it in the description go and check it out after you've watched this video okay now for the realism side let's go the way he's coloring it in so neatly is <laughs> very satisfying okay now he's using pencils <gasps> the pencil broke no <laughs> Look at the realism side, oh my god. It's so good, but it's also kind of creepy. Well done. Got a little yellow case. What is it paint? Spraying it with some water. A little book. Ah, oh, we're gonna draw a little picture in the book. Okay, blue. It's gonna be a sky, I'm guessing. Green, I'm guessing that's some grass. Clouds, little trees. A bit of dirt or a pathway. A tree. Oh, it's so good. Add in the details. It's coming together nicely. Oh, I like that. I really like it. That's cute. Imagine having that whole little book full of different tiny paintings. You can just flick through it when you're feeling sad to cheer yourself up. And that's it. Comment and let me know which one was your favorite. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye guys